Alright, November 2015, question 9. Now we're looking at calculus, but specifically cubic functions. So given h of x equal minus x cubed plus ax squared plus px, and g of x equal minus 12x. p and q, 2 and 10, are the turning points of h. The graph of h passes through the origin. So through the origin, we have another point, 0 and 0. Right? Show that a equal 3 over 2 and p equal 6. So all that's given to me is q2 and 10 and g of x. So I'll use q2 and 10 to simplify. So what we should know for turning point stationary point, we get the value 2 when we make the first derivative equal to 0. We get the value 10 when we substitute 2 in the original equation. Right? So let's start with the original equation. So if I substitute 2 in the place of x, I should get a y value of 10. So that becomes minus 2 cubed plus a2 squared plus p2. It gives me minus 8, 4a plus 2b. If I take minus 8 across, that gives me 10 plus 8, which is 18. Divide everything by 2, 4a divided by 2 gives me 2a, 2b divided by 2 gives me p, 18 divided by 2 gives me 9. So that's my equation 1. Then I know also if I put in the first derivative, I should get the answer. Make the first derivative equal to 0. My x value equals 2. So the first derivative of that, 3 times minus 1 gives me minus 3. 3 minus 2 gives me 2. Ax, or 3 minus 1, I say 3 minus 2 by mistake. 2 times 1 gives me 2a. 2 minus 1 gives me 1. And the 1 times p becomes p and x falls away. So that q, first derivative, if it's equal to 2, it should equal 0. So in the place of x, I'm placing 2. So 2 squared gives me 4 times negative 3, negative 12. 2 times 2 gives me 4a. p equals 0. If I take minus 12 across, it becomes positive 12. So that's my equation 2. So from here, equation 2 minus 1. 4a minus 2a gives me 2a. p minus p equals 0. 12 minus 9 gives me 3. So from there, divide by the coefficient of a. a equals 3 over 2. Then we substitute back in line 1. So if I put in a 3 over 2, that gives me 2 times 3, which is 6, divided by 2, which gives me 3. If take it over, 9 minus 3 equals 6. So therefore, p equals to 6. So I hope you follow, I hope you understand. This is one of many ways that we ask you to find the equation of a cubic function. Next, in 9.2, we'll be calculating average gradient of h between p and q if it's given that x equal minus 1 at p. All right. All the best. God bless. Bye.